Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 7th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here, always looking at the last 48 hours of imagery on our sun, as we did have another strong, long-duration M-class solar flare. So that's two strong M-class solar flares for the last 24 hours amongst the 10 sunspot regions that are Earth-facing right now. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, pretty active sunspot region, lots of plasma associated with that action, turning in for an Earth-facing view. And then in the outgoing position here, this is where we saw the M-class solar flares from the same region, 3575 sunspot, in the right-hand side. Having a look at multi-spectrum, pointing out the biggest events the last 24 hours. And notable there, the incoming active region. And quite diminished and a southern coronal hole. Other than that, no coronal holes earth facing right now. Looking at 171 angstroms here, this is where we can really see the corona of our sun. Magnetic field and umbras in our sunspot regions. As I said, there are 10 right now. Having a look at those sunspot regions in motion. Just another way to look at it. So those big black regions, those are the ones we are watching. So heads up. Big sunspot region turning in for Earth facing. Current space weather conditions, we are under R2. Moderate radio blackout impacts are expected. Limited blackout of high frequency radio communications. Solar winds are coming in at 510 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see, showing here healthy spikes showing the strong M-class solar flares and a moderate one just recently. Solar proton flux, steady. Geomagnetic activity, a little bit low, KP2. Having a look at the Space Weather Prediction Center spiral here, a little bit updated since yesterday's, as it is set to give us a glancing blow, 9th into the 10th of February. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing the most recent CME from the large M-class solar flare. Sunspot region 3575 producing a strong M-class. And having a look at LASCO 2 here. This is where we can see all the cosmic energy leaving our sun. We had that halo CME visible here on LASCO. But that was a backside eruption large eruption on the backside creating a full halo CME coronal mass ejection and yesterday we did post the space weather prediction spiral showing that having a look at our magnetosphere for pressure we were showing this yesterday and the pressure is a little bit on today since yesterday's imagery solar winds are steady at over 500 kilometers per second and when we start to see this deep pressure increase on our planet in our magnetic field, we will see deep earthquakes on our planet. And we did see a very deep one today, which we have not seen in quite some time. But we're going to start out here in a very active Philippines, starting with a 5.3 in Claveria, Philippines, and lots of activity southward into the Philippines plate and into the Banda Sea. across the Solomon Islands, and then Levuka, Fiji, 571 kilometer depth. That's the deepest earthquake we've seen all week. So heads up, we haven't seen a large earthquake over six magnitude in quite some time. Building activity there, Japan and northward into Kamchatka. Lots of minor rumbles through Alaska. And things are quieting down on the Hawaiian island. 
And then the North American plate, seeing some interesting activity. Clayton, Idaho, 3.5. And as well, Canyon Dam, California, 3.5 magnitude earthquake. These are all earthquakes from yesterday. El Salvador, interesting activity through the central Cocos Plate. South America seeing some activity today as well, minor at best. South Africa, 3.2 reported there today. Other than that, no major changes since yesterday. Largest earthquake today, 5.1. Deepest being 571 kilometer depth. Give you a quick browse at the last seven days for shakers around the world. As I said, we haven't seen a large earthquake, magnitude six or stronger, in about nine or ten days. So, heads up, we've got something brewing on our planet right now. Last week we saw the numbers well and over the daily average. Right now, USGS is reporting about 200. 20 earthquakes past 24 hours so just a heads up everybody now let's have a look at our so2 forecast models this is all brought to you by our vol erupting volcanoes around the world sitting at about 42 volcanoes right now no new eruptions to talk about today but notable large plumes of so2 coming out of north atlantic and as well the north pacific and heading through Central America from Popocatépetl and all the erupting volcanoes through Mexico and Guatemala. Having a look here over Southeast Asia, Eastern Russia, Kamchatka, some continual large eruptions there. And then overlooking Europe, as increased SO2 will be coming this week, sweeping across the Atlantic. And these SO2 models not showing any new major eruptions. But interesting. I'd really like to know where all that thick SO2 content is coming from in the North Atlantic. Now let's have a look at our weather forecast brought to you by Windy.com. We're going to start overlooking Europe. Big low off the coast right now. We'll be making landfall Friday into Saturday. Strong winds, lots of rain associated with that as the system comes through, breaks into many vortices. And then they sweep eastward into the Mediterranean. And then even some more larger systems in the long range forecast developing in the North Atlantic. Overlooking North America. South America, big low pressure system heading across central United States is going to head right up into Canada and fuel down some very cold air. Watch for light flurries and cold temperatures to come back by the 12th into the 13th. And at the same time, we're going to see a pretty big system here, nor'easter developing for eastern United States, Canada, Atlantic provinces. Watch for extreme weather breakout here, southeastern U.S., and then it gains strength and velocity heading right up into the Atlantic provinces, dropping yet another 100 centimeters of snow through parts of Nova Scotia. But some very big systems right now, as you can see, one on the west coast and one in the Atlantic. Interesting system will be developing through the Gulf in the long-range forecast. Then overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia. No major systems affecting you until the long-range forecast here as a pretty strong cyclone will be developing Northern Territory of Australia. But noting here, some very big systems in the Pacific and the Atlantic Low pressure systems are getting bigger and stronger just as I had forecasted and predicted and have been for the past six years on YouTube. And a couple of years ago, I talked about 
the possible increasing of the category size of hurricanes and now mainstream media is talking about that we could have a category six hurricane in the future having a look at snowfall totals across atlantic provinces as i said up to 100 centimeters of snow will be falling over this next system about 40 centimeters of snow through the pacific northwest united states higher elevations and about 230 well, 250 centimeters of snow falling in parts of Alaska. Thanks, everybody, for watching today. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware, prepared, stay young, and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.